Hello, welcome to the World of Wellbeing. I'm Gracia. Today we have Divine, um, who is going to tell us um, a bit about a talent that she has. So it's a true treat and pleasure to have Divine today. Um, Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Divina Truly. I'm 14 years old and I live at home with my mom and my two brothers. Amazing. Divine, do you go to school? Yes, I do. I go to John Paul Academy. Brilliant. Which are you doing at the moment? Well, um, I was in third year before lockdown, so now I should be in fourth year. That's amazing. Well, so, um, you've got two brothers. Yes. Who's your favorite? You won't tell them. <laughs> I couldn't really pick a favorite. Depends. Sometimes I get along more with my big brother, sometimes more with my little brother, but they're both really nice. That's good. That's a very wise answer, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Divine, tell us about your talent. Today, you're going to show us some some really cool stuff. So tell us what you like doing just to relax and to spend a bit of time on your own. In my spare time, I like to draw and paint and do all sorts of art. That's amazing. How did that work? Well, it started when I was around 10 or 11 and we went for Christmas with one of the pastors in the church, Pastor Phil, and he gave us this box for Christmas. It was a box with paints and canvases and oil pastels and it got me thinking, why don't I try something new instead of, I'm always, I've always been used to music, you know, so I thought, well, it's creative as well, let me try it out and this was the first painting I ever did, it's not the best but it's my first, so I kept it. I was really proud of this, and I still kind of am, but I'm getting better. Um, okay, and then um, what, what else have you done since then? What else have you done um, since then? Well, I took art in S1 and S2. So we did like a, a folio on African masks, and I, was, I made a giraffe mask. That is still in school, but this was my drawing of the giraffe, my first sketch before I actually did it. And then in S2, I started to move on to more creative art, like this. This was still life I drew right in front of me, used four different techniques. I used chalk and charcoal here, pen here, pastels and crayons here, and coloring pencils here. I think this is probably one of my favorite skill arts. <laughs> That's beautiful, really stunning. Um, but you do you do have some other ones. You do have some other ones because I think I've kind of like started thinking that maybe I should come to you and then you can maybe you know <laughs> make some portrait of me. Um, can yeah, you? Show me? Yes. Um, this was this is one of my favorites. Look at that. I think it probably is my favorite one, yeah. This I did at like 3 o'clock in the morning when I couldn't sleep. And then the day after I sort of tried out something else. I tend to draw a lot of Afro black, black people, so... That's beautiful. <laughs> That's so, so stunning, girl. Um, so, why, why, why painting? What, what do you think it does for you? It takes you away from reality for a while. It calms you down, takes your mind off things, and in the end, you're left with something beautiful. So good, um, amazing. Now, you. do you have any last word for for young people your age? Anything you'd like to tell us? To tell everyone, actually. Well, I'd say everyone's in a rush to get out of this lockdown. Everyone wants to go out, everyone wants to see their friends. But I say, until we come out of lockdown, enjoy being in lockdown. Enjoy your family's company, you know, because it's not very often we get this. With everyone with work and school, I would say, enjoy this time while you still have it. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, love, it's been a treat having you. Thank you very much for sharing. Thank you for having me. Bye everyone, that's all for today.